Hello there! Today I'm going to show you how you shouldn't paint. I'm talking about a process when artists start from one spot, without any preparation, and render this area completely straight away. This technique looks very impressive. However, it may hold back your progress and frustrate you. I loved watching this type of videos when I started my art career, and I always wanted to paint like that. So I kept drawing and painting, rendering everything from one spot. Each time I was hoping that the magic will happen and the result will be stunning. And it never did. The result was even worse than my usual tries. I was sure that the problem was in me, that I need more practice with this type of process to achieve good results. And years later, I can say that the chance of a frustrating result using this approach is very high. And the reason is simple. Good painting consists of many things that you need to make right. The most obvious is anatomy and proportions. It's incredibly hard to do something right if you didn't make any preliminary measurements. You will have to trust your eyes and their sense of distance which is not going to end great if your eyes aren't trained enough. Usually, artists have to do a lot of careful studies before the eyes will get used to what is wrong and what is right. Otherwise, there is a huge chance that your painting will look crooked. That was the reason number one why your painting may not look as good as someone else's. The second one is that you need to work on your hues and values. If you don't stick to the reference image, the choice of colors is endless. And you may go way too far and then suddenly understand that you want something to be a bit more light. And you'll have to paint it all over again because unlike digital art, here there is no easy way to make something lighter without ruining the saturation of colors. Also, there is an interesting thing. Colors may look very different depending on what is surrounding them. You may already saw these types of experience, when the same color look absolutely different with two different colors around it. Look at this color on a white background. It looks like a good match for light skin, but if we put it on the black background, it starts to look lighter, and in reality, it may even create a washed out effect. It will be a bad surprise if you add the contrast background after everything else. What can help you is creating a color sketch beforehand. There you can understand the color scheme, values and the impression that you want to achieve. Usually in this type of video, artists don't show all the preliminary work that was done for the painting. So it makes your chance for failure even higher. I didn't make any preparation sketches or drawings for this video because I wanted to keep it as it is for you. It doesn't mean that you should never ever use this process. And I have to be honest, it was really fun to work on this painting. It's like you aren't completely sure how the result will look like. But it's definitely not the best option for a beginner artist who wants to develop their skills. I think that this kind of painting process may work for you only in two cases. You may be a professional artist with a lot of experience, a person who knows the palette favorite color combinations, the overall style, and so on. Or you are just copying exactly what you see, like a printer. And again, you are experienced in that. In any other case, this approach will be destructive. The reason is that you are not learning while you do that. It's more like a performance at the competition than a learning routine. And also, it can be really frustrating to see that your result is not as good as someone else's. And no matter how many times you've tried this process, it won't be getting better. I'm a self-taught artist and the first thing that I discovered about learning to paint and draw is that you have to start from big shapes. If you are working on a realistic portrait, the proportions and size of the hat will be the first thing that you'll work on, not even the location of facial features. They are usually the step number two. The juicy details are the last step. And that's the approach that all art schools use. The reason for that is simple. They want you to divide and conquer. 
I've mentioned that the painting process is full of stuff that you need to keep in mind, so the best thing that you can do is to work on them one after another, instead of doing them simultaneously. Everything starts from composition and proportions, so you won't need to think about values and hues at that moment. You can check my other videos to see which type of process I usually use. I believe that the approach that I'm showing in this video is like wanting your child to take part in a triathlon before he even learned to walk. It's just impossible. You can see that through all of this process I've been using only one brush, which I never do in my usual routine. I always start from the biggest brushes possible. Fill in everything that I want and only then take smaller ones. It helps to solve bigger issues and concentrate less on details. Here is a tip about my technique. If you try to smooth something with a small sharp brush, you are going to fail, because you have to make a lot of movements back and forth. And since the brush is pretty sharp, all these movements will be seen and destroying perfect blending. That's why you can see that I took my usual old fluffy brush to smooth everything. Here is the result of my today's effort. I really like how it turned out, and it was a huge fun working on it with you. However, the only reason why I'm happy with the result is because I've already painted a lot of eyes and knew what I want to do and how, and I learned everything from working from big to small. So that was everything that I want to discuss with you in this video. The full version of working on this painting, including the palette and my comments, you can find on my Patreon page. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was useful. See you soon, bye!